Morning folks. This morning so is brought to us by Victory Shade Company. It's called Flag Bait. Sent on this one here is Black Cherry, Rum, and Smoke. And uh, down here at the bottom, I'll show you here on the other side, it says, May all your shades be victorious. I'll show you what the back of it looks like. Pretty nice to have the uh, scent profile on the back. Makes it easy for somebody like me. <laughs> Comes in a, this has got four ounces of soap. The tin's got a screw top lid. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's uh, firm in the tin, but it's very easy to, to scrape out with a, uh, I use a baby spoon. I press it down and the bowl's very soft, easy, pliable to put down the bowl if you're bowl lathering. Still got my Allen block, <laughs> no rubber band. <laughs> and uh, I'll talk about that here in a moment. Got Sterling's uh, Witch Hazel Mentholated Black Ice Flavor, and there's, it's right about here. Not much left. Tony's outside the door. <laughs> He's our German Shepherd. And um, Vanulay Black Cherry Aftershave. This one here doesn't have alcohol in it. He might be a little bit of a pest this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, um, got it whipped up here in a uh, smooth bottom bowl. Got this bowl at a thrift store, you know, dollar type, 99 cent. That's what it looks like there on the inside. Got it whipped up here with a brush from Razor Rock. If you, to look at it, I'll put a link down below for it. To look at it, it looks a lot like uh, an Omega, was it 1098 or something like that. Professional. I would have to say, though, this particular knot in my brush, don't know if the rest of them are like this, seem to be, uh, this one here, uh, even before I started working with it, in other words, straight out of the box, the tip seemed to be pretty soft already. And so, in other words, uh, I don't know if uh, these bristles are, I'm not sure, but pretty soft. It, I don't know if this is typical for the rest of, uh, of these brushes, but this one here had... It already came with uh, some pretty soft bristles. That pretty impressive. And the uh, reason why I'm doing this video again with the Razor Rock Black Hawk, this is the sixth shave on this blade. And typically, in other words, with a Feather Artist Club uh, Super, by the fifth shave, you know, I can tell that it's ready to be retired. Blade is tired and starting to get a wee bit tuggy. This one here, yesterday was the fifth shave. Today, Saturday. This will be the sixth. And it really hasn't given me much indication that it's ready to be retired. So, thought it might be worthwhile doing a video on it. Talk about uh, how smooth this uh, blade is. It, it's pretty nice, I have to say. I've already put a hot towel to the face this morning. I'll go ahead and wet the face and use the... Uh, this uh, pre-shave is from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. It is unscented, but it is methylated. It's called ice. Go ahead and wet it just a little bit. I've been, the uh, past few months, I'm trying to remember. Might have been since November, maybe. Can't remember when I started using the pre soap. You know how it is. You get a sample, and I decided to use it one day. And, uh, I really like the menthol. I may have to start holding it like this. Um, uh, I really like the menthol. It, um, uh, to me, it seems like it really prepares my face for the shave. Feels good. I like the menthol. You have the six shaves on this blade. And uh, not just six shaves, but nice, smooth, comfortable, just easy going. In other words, it feels like the first shave. It's just, just really kind of amazed at how comfortable the shaves have been with this blade. Did lose three, that's the third one, three bristles out of that brush. Just three. That's not too bad. In other words, for me, it's not uncommon with a bore brush. You're going to lose a few bristles here and there. And to me, that doesn't bother me none. Kind of typical, expected. But I'll put a link down below. I think I paid $10 for it. I saw it, thought I'd give it a try. This is some pretty soft for a bore, I should say. But even at that, I think most people, if you had a bore brush and you know how pokey it might be, scritch, 
you might be pretty impressed with this one. Because it was you know, pretty soft from the get-go. And this soap smells great. It won't smell exactly like this other soap I'm getting ready to mention, but I would put it in, um, I would put it in that same category, in that uh, the the scent, what it may, uh, the time of year that a person might associate this scent to that particular time of year, and um, Soap Commander's got a soap it's called Unity, and that particular soap, um, it's got like I think apple and fig. This is you know, got that kind of scent, that kind of vibe to it. It's really nice. Here we go, we'll get started here. I say it's, um, Blaze's been pretty impressive. Now I know that this is not the only single edge out there that takes these kind of blades. And if you haven't tried one of these before, especially with a, uh, with a, I'll just call it a Kai Pink, because it's got a long name. I got it down below <laughs> if you if arrested all that name. But um, it'd probably be a good idea to give it a little bit of an experiment. I also have some Schick blades that are longer and are not the, uh, not the injector blades but they're a little bit longer. In other words, that might be compatible with this. I haven't tried it just yet. Um, so I really can't speak to those. But this blade here is pretty smooth. So if you tried like maybe a feather artist a professional in your hawk, and thought maybe you would like to try a different kind of blade. This one here might be it. In other words, this, uh, I guess you might say, to a degree, um, just a, and really amazement of this blade, how long it's lasted with such smooth shaves. Like I say, usually my super by this point in time, six shave, yeah, it's, it's tugging too much for my comfort. When I got another 10 or so blades waiting for, for me to use, so yeah. I should mention, in other words, what I'm working up to, not only about this blade, but the fact that the very first time I used this blade, not this particular one, but this name, Brian, uh, was in a Ackman's razor, and it's the one that comes with three different plates. I got that razor on sale. That's the only reason why I pulled the trigger on it, because before, for me, in other words, around $80, I'm kind of like, I'm not too sure, because you're not, you know, until you try the razor, you don't know if it's going to work for you or not. And $80 was a bit more than what I'm willing to spend on a razor that I'm unsure of. Because that handle on Nachman's razor is flat. It's not round like a typical razor handle is. And so I was really unsure of the handle. That was my first hurdle I had to get past. But when they put it on sale a while back for $50, I couldn't resist. I thought, yeah, now, now I'll try it. And I tried this blade, these Kai Pinks. Man, talk about a smooth, comfortable, close, efficient. I mean, it was, it was a great shave. You know, it's one of those shaves when you come out of the bathroom just to smile because, man, it was just an awesome shave. Really enjoyed it. And, matter of fact, that's a, that's a great shaver. Wait till it goes on sale, though. And the only uh, plate that I've ever used is the, what you call a two-dot classic if you will. I've yet to try the other two. I just really like the classic one. Works well for me. But like I said, that handle, <laughs> just mentally beforehand, it's like, man, I don't know if I can make an adjustment to that handle being flat like it is. It seemed to work out alright for me. I didn't really, didn't take that much to mentally to make that adjustment to it. At least not for me it wasn't. Really like that shaver though. That's another one I'm going to take these kind of blades that somebody might be interested in giving it a try. I need to try these pinks in my Q 
Camisori style feather artist club this is. I needed to give it a try. Haven't done that just yet. This has uh, been. I can still smell the soap. My nose is working well today. At least for right now. <laughs> Six shaves. Now my last shave, the album block had a bit more to report back on. But in other words, I didn't see any nicks, cuts, weepers, or anything. But the album block, there was a certain amount of uh, stinging, more so than what you know, like the first shave. But in my books, that's still a pretty good shave. Hey, I'll go with that. Soap smells great. I really like this soap. The uh, Victory Shaving. It's got a good line of soaps. They work well for me. This one here reminds me a bit of uh, like Russell's soaps, uh, Wild West Shaving, in that it'll take a little. Uh, it'll take some water. This brush is pretty nice. To the most part, in other words, I really feel like this brush is pretty close to already being broken in. Right from when you get it. So it might be something to, worth checking out if you had uh, bore brushes in the past and maybe weren't too terribly ter ter fond of because it takes so much to get them broke in. I like the effort to me. It's just a lot of fun lathering with them and getting broke in. This one here, I think, is pretty much already broke in for you. Yeah, this soap is, uh, in my opinion, is, uh, even though I mentioned about being seasonal, for me it's more about a Saturday, a Sunday shave, relaxing. Easy going. This kind of scent kind of sets that tone. In other words, getting ready for breakfast. <laughs> Evidently, one of the little ones that saw something that uh, there's probably a squirrel in the backyard. We have one that comes by that likes to tease them, and it sounds like that's what's out there right now. We got little fur babies, in other words. Just a fantastic shave. Made it through the shave. No next cut. I could go through another one. I could this this blade really nice. I'm really surprised. Kind of put at least in this particular shaver, it's working quite well. It'll be interesting to see how it works out in my Camisori, but boy howdy, and this razor rock and the Ackman's razor, nice shaves. Guess I should show you what the box looks like. I'll put a link down below. You can find these at Maggard's if you're having a hard time running them down. That's what these look like. And the uh, dispenser. Oh, it's a pack of 20. And that's what the dispenser looks like. So if you figure, if I'm getting six good shaves on a blade, I'll probably get bored. I really want to push it. I don't, not that seven, I think is going to be a problem. But tomorrow's going to be DE, so I'm going to go ahead and retire this blade. But uh, you figure six shaves, 20. That's what, 180 shaves out of one dispenser? That's pretty decent. I can't complain. Now as it goes in between the two shavers and Ackman and then uh, uh, the Hawk, I feel like Ackman's, it's a, a more efficient shaver. But you're also paying somewhat more for it. And the difference in between the two, and the price difference in between the two for me, knowing what I know now since I own both of them, um, 
I'd go with either one of them as far as that goes, especially if you're looking at that being one of your only shavers. But if you're on a tight budget, yeah, this is a pretty good shaver. To go with those kind of blades, man, this feels good. What Alex was giving me a hard time about my Allen block being so small, like a Crayola. <laughs> That's what I was getting at earlier. <laughs> Call my Allen block a Crayola. <laughs> In other words, you're using it like this. Doing pretty good. Went all week without a headache. No migraines this week. That's pretty good so far. We even had a thunderstorm run th roll through last night. And uh, it didn't seem, it seemed like the, the it kind of split when it came by the house. So we didn't get a whole lot. There's a little bit of hail, but not much. But um, other parts of town look like they got it pretty heavy. Looking at the radar, that color looked like they got some pretty intense tail. I've been debating since now. I know that I'm getting close to the bottom of the uh, of this container, witch hazel. I got some Humphrey still, witch hazel. Thought maybe I'd switch over to the Humphreys and use it for a little bit. To see how much of a difference I can tell in between not only the witch hazel but as well as the non methylated and the methylated witch hazel. See how much of a difference that is to me? Because I've been using methylated witch hazel for quite a while, about as long as I've been using the um, pre shave soap. Face feels great. Like I say, just a little bit of stinging from the Allen block, nothing major. Nothing to be, uh, how do you say, overly concerned about. In other words, seven shave, yeah, I could probably get one out of it. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with uh, Vanule's uh, aftershaves, it's more or less witch hazel based. Yeah, it's got a lot of water in it, but it's witch, witch hazel based. It doesn't have alcohol in it. And I don't know, I don't think I own, I may own one, maybe out of the, all the ones I've got, which is several, that you don't have to give a good shake. This one here being black cherry. Also got this to go with uh, Sterling, so I have black, sh black cherry uh, soap also. Black cherry is a pretty good scent. It smells great. In other words, setting the tone for an easy going Saturday, nothing serious. There's some other in ingredients in here. I guess you might refer to them as uh, uh, skin food. Face feels so good. This was a really nice shave. Tomorrow, Sunday, if everything works out right, I'll have a shave with a uh, DE razor. And as well as uh, being my first go, I finally got these in. Thought I'd give them a try. Should point this out. Most people may already know, maybe not. You see that wording there referring to what the uh, razor blade is uh, coated with? And here on the bottom tells you who it's distributed by, at least here in the States. And you notice down there at the bottom it says Made in Turkey. So I'm kind of thinking Derby Baby. <laughs> Just the thought. And another thing, I, I had mentioned this in an earlier video. In other words, some mail calls finally came in. I mentioned before, and I thought it would be worthwhile to show it to you because um, I was really just kind of shocked. Uh, I ordered some uh, uh, soap from uh, <laughs> the dogs, <laughs> from Soap Commander, and it was referred to as a grab bag. And if I'm, I don't put a link down below because maybe my memory's a little fuzzy, but I thought it was like seven dollars. And this is what it looks like: you get ten ounces of soap. Who knows what the scent is? You know, you can read what she, she she says. You know, the words. It's a grab bag. You just get whatever she puts in there. She's probably unsure what the scents are, but you know, there's about ten ounces of soap for seven bucks. And if you don't mind not knowing what the scent is in the bag when you order it, just know that you're getting some good soap from Soap Commander. Uh, ten ounces of soap for seven bucks. That's a heck of a buy. And I thought, you know, hey. This, this, this is an awesome value. thought I'd throw that out there because, you know, not everybody knows that she has that available. 
and uh, another blade. I tried one and really liked it, thought I'd go ahead and get some, but I got a hundred pack here of these uh, uh, Tiger Blades, and to me the packaging is what's also just really cool. When you have that sort of information, taste the guesswork of what all is going on, uh, where the blade is coming from, where it's made at, and where is that at? Oh, yes. Take a look at that corner right there if it'll focus in for you. Right down there. If I didn't know any better, that's a blade on top of the triangle, and it says Astra, and I can't make out the rest of it. That print's pretty tiny. I'd have to get a magnifying glass for these eyes. But at any rate, this some mail calls that came in, but I'll tell you what, you talk about an awesome value right here. Boy, howdy. $7 for 10 ounces of soap. You can get your shave on for a good long while with that. All right, that pretty much, oh, keep in thoughts. Uh, Russell Barton, Wild West Shaving, uh, Raven Brushworks, Russell's in the hospital, uh, had a medical issue, and uh, anyway, just keep him in your thoughts if you will. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shaves to you.